guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well thank you so so much for coming back to another hair and makeup tutorial today we're going to be getting into this look we've got a new wig some super cute blue makeup i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that we get notified anytime that i make a new upload so without further ado let's get into today's look so of course I'm going to be starting off with hair. We always go hair first, then makeup after. That's just my, my way of doing things. We're going to be installing a new wig. I just recently got this one from Nodula Hair Company. Shout out to you for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for that. Helping you girl pay your bills. <laughs> but this is the unit that they sent over. It's this really, really beautiful, like reddish, like auburn type of color. Perfect, perfect for the fall time. The texture of the hair is everything. The length is perfect. The color is bomb. So I'm super excited to install her. <laughs> they also sent over a bunch of like super cute goodies. We got like a bathrobe, which was like really, really awesome. <laughs> but yeah, they sent over a bunch of cute goodies along with this wig. But yeah, so this is the unit that we're going to be installing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to be doing the bald cap method today. I've been doing the bald cap method lately because it's been just been working out real well with my installs. I'm also going to use this Eben lace adhesive to secure my lace wig. This is like the perfect lace adhesive because it works for like both things like the bald cap method and to like secure your lace. It holds on to your lace wigs super well but it's also water soluble so it comes off super easily with some water. You guys already know I like to take my wigs off at night. I don't really like to sleep with my wigs. You know I need my hair to breathe at the end of the day so I need like a lace adhesive that's gonna come off super easily at night. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy this process here because everything is pretty much the same for like how I install the hair. Um, nothing's really changed that much with that. Um, the hairstyle that I did is super simple as well. It's just like a classic like half up half down style. I added a middle part as well and I put like two little um, two little chunks of hair in the front for my bangs. Um, if you have any questions about the hair, definitely make sure to check the description box. I always leave all the information for the hair in the description box if you guys ever have any questions about it. I'm also gonna leave a link to this exact wig that I'm wearing, so if you wanna go ahead and check it out on the website, feel free to check the description box for that as well. I'll be back to show you guys the finished look, and then we'll go ahead and get into this makeup.
Okay, so I'm back a little bit earlier than I said, but it's because I wanted to kind of give you guys some details about like the hairstyle that I did. So I did end up like pressing the hair out with my flat iron just to kind of get it nice and straight. And after that, I went ahead and did like the actual hairstyle, like this half up, half down. So I only used hairspray to slick back this hair. So um, I just made to sure to use like a whole bunch of it, <laughs> but I got the ponytail looking nice and sleek. I really wanted like a nice sleek ponytail. So using plenty of hairspray is like key if you're not gonna use like any other product. So I did like a little twist, like knot type of bun, like kind of like wrap the hair around the ponytail. And then for the ends, I just left the ends like a little bit longer. I made sure to also go in with a little bit of hairspray on those ends as well to spike them up. So they kind of like poke out a little bit. I did this hairstyle within another video, but the hair was super curly. So it gave like a different type of vibe. I feel like this time, like with straight hair, it's like, it looks more like sporty. I don't know. It's like giving like a mixture between like posh and sporty spice, but I thought it looked super cute. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the finished look for the hair. Thank you so much again to Do The Hair Company for sending over this unit. I'm so excited to wear it again for the fall and winter time. It's such a pretty color and the texture is so beautiful. Again, I'm going to leave all of the information for it in the description box if you guys have any questions. So now that we are all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into this makeup look. So I did my skincare routine off camera, so I'm just gonna jump straight into primer. I've been using a mixture of these two primers lately. I've been loving them together because it kind of like focuses on, you know, the things that I actually like like in primers. So the Giorgio Armani um, primer is the one that I use all over the face to kind of get like that nice hydrated, luminous like glow to the skin. And then I'll use this mattifying primer from LH Cosmetics to target the areas on my face that are a little bit more on the oily side so the forehead, the nose, and a little bit on the cheek area. Next up, I'll go in with my under eye primer. <laughs> this one's from Rem Beauty. It's their under eye cooling primer. It has like a nice cute little cooling effect and it like makes the under eyes like super smooth. So it looks beautiful underneath like your concealer. So I'm just gonna dab a small amount of that onto the under eyes as well to prep. And then I'll go ahead and move into foundation. So the foundation that I'm using is a mixture between two. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Foundation and I believe I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation to lighten it up. The e.l.f. one is definitely a little bit too dark for me right now. So I'm going to apply that onto the skin and blend it in with a brush and then from there I'll go ahead and move into my concealer. Concealer is also from Rem Beauty. This is their new concealer. It's awesome. It's such a good concealer. It's really really full coverage so if you're a full coverage girl girl like me and you know you need your concealer to be like you know on point and like snatch up the under eyes you'll probably really really like this one I know I do so it's called the sweetener concealer and I'm gonna double check, check the shade that I'm using here there's so many shade options there's 60 different shades which I thought was pretty amazing but um the shade that i'm using is medium 6w the only thing i will say about this concealer is that it is really really thick it's so that's definitely something to get used to it's more of like a creamy consistency so it does take a little bit of extra time to blend but i don't mind i'm okay taking a little bit of extra time to you know make it look super nice but yeah, <laughs> after that, I'll go in with my cream blush. I'm using this one from M Cosmetics. It's their So Soft Blush in shade Passion. Oh, I'm so obsessed with the shade. It's like this really beautiful reddish orangey type of color. So, so beautiful. Like, oh, it's just such a pretty shade. So I'm gonna apply that onto the cheeks and then I'll go back in with like my blender to blend out the edges just to make sure it blends in super well, you know, into the concealer and everything. From there, I'll go in with my setting powder. I'm using this one from Huda Beauty. It's their Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I do believe it's in the shade Sugar Cookie, if I'm not mistaken in but it's like their translucent shade so um, it doesn't have like any type of color or tint to it so I'm going to use that to set the under eyes first and also I'm going to add just a tiny bit onto like the forehead and the nose um, to set those areas too then I'm going to go in with just a little bit of pressed powder on the cheek area mostly this one's from Huda Beauty it's their glowish 
pressed powder in shade number eight. I definitely wanted to set like the cheek area because I already knew what I was gonna go in with like a powder bronzer. And for my personal experience, I just feel like my powder bronzer looks better and blends in a lot better when the skin is like set with some type of powder beforehand. I accidentally went in with way too much bronzer on the nose. So I'm gonna make sure to dust off my brush, you know, blend that in real good because uh, I definitely went in with way too much, but yeah. The bronzer that I'm using is from House Labs. It's their sculpting and bronzing powder in shade number 12. So I'm gonna add that onto the nose and the forehead as well as the cheeks. And then from there, I'll go ahead and start baking using the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder again from Huda Beauty. But this time I'm gonna use the shade Blondie. It has more of like a yellowy undertone, so it's perfect for baking the under eyes as well as the bridge of that nose. Then I'm gonna add my powder blush. This one is from B, I was gonna say BH Cosmetics. It's definitely Benefit Cosmetics, not BH Cosmetics. <laughs> this is their powder blush in shade Sunny. It's a beautiful like orangey type of tone. I love this blush so much. And it looks perfect on top of like that cream blush that we applied earlier from M Cosmetics. Then I'm gonna go ahead and work on my brows. Brows are same, same per usual. Nothing's changed all that much. Oh no, something did change. I used a different shade in the KVD brow pomade. I'm not using deep brown like I normally do. I'm using walnut. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all that's changed though. So brows definitely are same, same. I'm going to use my um, pomade and then I'll go in with some brow gel from Maybelline to set those brow hairs in place. Now let's talk about this eye look. So I'm gonna prep the eyes first using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime eyeshadow base. This is my go-to eyeshadow primer for all my eye looks. I'm gonna apply that onto the lid space, blend it in with a fluffy brush, and then I'm also going to set that using just a small smidgen amount of setting powder. So once the eyes are all prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my first eye product. This one's from NYX Cosmetics. This is their Jumbo eye pencil and it's like a navy blue type of shade. This is kind of going to be like the base for our eye look. So I'm going to apply this onto the low, on, I was going to say lower lash line. I'm going to apply this onto like the upper lash line and I'm also going to like drag whatever product that I have left over on my brush onto the crease to start laying out the shape of the eye look that we're going to be creating. So if you've been watching my channel for a while then you probably heard me mention this brand called Kaleidos Makeup. I've been really loving all of their products. They just recently launched a new collection. It's their Night of Creation collection. And this is one of the palettes that they sent over to me in PR. This is the Glowing Iris palette. Oh my gosh, this palette is so, so cute. It has like a bunch of these like super pretty, like bluey, purpley type of shades. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just this really cute palette and I definitely wanted to use it for today's look. So I'm gonna be going in with that darkest color right over that jumbo eye pencil that we applied before to bring some like extra depth into the look. Then I'll go in with the two lighter matte shades to blend out that darker eyeshadow. Kaleidos makeup has been really like doing it for me when it comes to colorful like type of eye looks and colorful makeup. I feel like I've been like super uninspired when it comes to eye makeup and just like, you know, color in general, which is kind of one of the reasons why I gravitated toward like soft glam and like neutral looks these days. But they've been like, you know, they've been inspired ring your girl so you know i've been really enjoying all of their stuff <laughs> That's pretty much like the, uh, all I did for like the lid space and the crease. I just added like a little cream eyeshadow to the lid space to kind of like highlight that part as well as like the inner corner. I'm using a beige shadow from the Carnival 4 palette. And then from there, I'll go ahead and add like my, um, my liner to my waterline as well as like smoke out the lower lash line. And then for that little like metallic eyeliner that you guys saw, I used a new product from the same collection from Kaleidos Makeup. This is their Epiphany Glow Melt On Eyeliner in shade Sea Sparkle. Such a cute little like metallic gel liner. It also has like a nice like cute color shift. So it shifts from like this icy blue type of shade to like a really dark blue. Definitely check out this collection if you guys haven't checked it out yet. 
yet. The products in the collection are amazing. I've been loving it. That'll probably pretty much be it for the eyes. I just added like a little inner corner wing using some blue eyeliner from House Labs. Then I'll go in with my mascara and lashes and that'll pretty much be it for the eyes. I definitely wanted to keep it simple, but I'm loving like this little pop of blue. It's so cute. <laughs> So pop those lashes on and then I'm going to go ahead and add my highlighter. The uh, highlight that I used is from Palace Labs. I've been loving this highlighter. It's like that perfect peachy gold type of shade. I'm going to use this to highlight the nose and I'm also going to add a little pinch of that onto the cheeks just to highlight like the high points there. Um, I haven't been highlighting the cheeks a whole lot lately but I've been really like enjoying super glowy skin these days so definitely wanted to add just a little pinch of highlight onto the cheeks. And then um, that'll be it for the skin. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip combo. I'm gonna fart line first using the NYX slide on pencil in shade Urban Cafe. And I'm gonna add like a little bit of extra depth to the lip using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in shade Dimensional Dark Brown. And then for my lipstick, I'm using this one from Rem Beauty. It's the On Your Collar Matte Lipstick in shade Roller Skates. I don't know if I like this lipstick more for the packaging or like the actual product. <laughs> don't get me wrong, like the product is amazing. Like I love this lipstick formula so much. You guys know how much I love like a good nude lip. And the shade is super cute. It's very light, so you definitely have to be like a little bit careful with it. But with a good lip liner, it's, you know, perfection. But the packaging is also just like, oh, it's so, so good cute. From there, I'm going to go ahead and add my lip gloss. I'm using a mixture of shades Mango Lassi and Coquito Shake from NYX. This is the This is Milky Gloss and I'm so obsessed with this little combo here. Like this little orangey shade mixed with like the sheer white gives it like this cute creamsicle type of vibe and it just looks so perfect on top of this lipstick. Ah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> and then I'm going to finish off this look with some setting spray. This is the Benefit Professional Super Setter setting spray and that's it that's it for the look i hope you guys enjoyed today's hair and makeup tutorial definitely let me know what you think of the look down below in the comments don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you so so very much for watching guys sending lots of love to you all and yeah hopefully i will see you in the next one